face of the books. What is up, everybody? Good evening, and you might as well call it good morning. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk about this fume. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk about this view. Let's talk about this view. <laughs> oh God. Okay. I need. Where is? Okay. I'm trying to do some work at the same time. So. So let's let's talk about this because we got a whole list of things to talk about. That's just. It was a beautiful service. It was a beautiful service. It was a beautiful service. But I just was taking notes during the whole entire funeral. I didn't went to sleep. I didn't cut my yard. I didn't got some snacks to eat. I didn't sweat it out there cutting the yard and came and took a shower. I was sitting on the toilet, came back. The funeral was still going on. I was like, hey, okay. Oh, where do we start? Where do we start from here? Okay. This choir tonight, this choir, my sister Miko is on, hey love. This choir was really good. I'm going to tell y'all something. I, I knew I could count on Ricky and, and Sister Kurt. I'm telling you, I could count on them. <laughs> I could count on them to give me a good old choir. I'm tell you something. If you want anybody to give you some good old choirs, baby, you got to get the girls. Baby, they had Ricky and Kurt Carr. Baby, Ricky was up there directing and dancing and doing. Baby, we listen. The choir was everything. Okay. <laughs> Minus that soprano mic. Yeah. Minus that soprano mic. So Ricky and Kurt Carr did an awesome job with the choir. I think everybody else should have made a rehearsal. Audrey Du Bois was at the rehearsal. Praise God. Audrey was at the rehearsal and we thank God for it. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so let's 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 trickle on down to the rest of the service. Faith Hill. To me, that was a no, hell no, to the no no no. No, no, no. No, no. Did I, I got a prop that I want to use, but I can't really use this until I get to Shaka. But I just feel like just <laughs> I feel like just just busting this bug out one time. Listen, somebody said Fantasia was amazing. I don't know what you heard, but okay, all right, David. <clears throat> so let's let's go on now. Faith, Faith Hill, she was awful. Mm -hmm. um, she sang "What a Friend We Have in Jesus." Um, Faith, I need you to remember that you are at a black church, okay? This is B-E-T. Yeah, this is B of the T-E. I'm doing like uh, Al Sharpton now. I'm messing my words out. This is B of the E-T, okay? This is B-E-T. And I need you to not come up here trying to just do like Fergie up there trying to jazz the song up. No, baby, I need you to, to pull a nigga out of you. That's what I need you to do. Pull a nigga out. Pull a nigga out, okay? And I'm going to need you to really sing this song, okay? Sing this song. Mm. I'm going to need you to have gone to two of the rehearsals. They had two rehearsals, okay? They had two rehearsals. We trying to make this quick and sweet, y'all, okay? Mm. All right, we can go and cross them out. I feel like T.S. Madison now. I can go and cross these people out. Um, Taco Bell. <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> Nikito Takumbel. Okay, Ariana Grande. Listen. <laughs> Ari, Ari, huh? Ariana Grande was horrible. I think I was probably on the toilet at that time. But Ariana Grande, baby, first of all, when you come to a church, I know you didn't been to a church service before. You look Catholic. I don't know how Catholic supposed to look. <laughs> But you look Catholic. Listen. Your dress daughter, daughter, your dress was high. Uh, baby, listen, I, saw, I almost saw your coochie bread, okay? I almost, <laughs> I almost saw your coochie bread, okay? Now, I was I was a little nervous for the preachers up there because, baby, 
you would have dropped your mic and had to tip over, baby. It would have just been all out here in the back. I was like, wait a minute. Whoa. So um, that was the wrong song for you, daughter. That was the wrong song. Don't do that no more. Mm. You, you, baby, you sang around enough black folks as it is. You ought to know how to act. Now, I'm coming to Charles Ellis because Charles Ellis said something very, very, very disrespectable. Calling you a taco sauce. So we go, we'll come back to that later. <laughs> so, um, and everybody had on stockings except Fantasia. Why didn't Fantasia have on some stockings? I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. The Clarks. The Clarks. The Clarks. The Clarks. Jesus, you look fast. I don't know what to say about the Clarks. I just, I was so, I was really expecting them to just, baby, come on through and, through and just bring all the Holy Ghost, the fire and the inertment and everything. And it just, somebody said, don't do it, baby. I can't, I can't help it. The Clark sisters just, I was just like, they said, it's my living in vain. I was like, I think tonight it is. I think tonight it is. Tonight this living is in vain. I was like, what? Babe, hold on. First of all, let me, let me just help you out with something. When I heard Twinkie in the background screaming, do you hear me, children? Screaming. No, of course not. I was like, whoa, wait. Where is, I was like, where is Twinkie? And baby, she started belting from the back and then they turned her mic up and I was just like, oh my God, my ears, why? I said, you know what? I think the sound guy went on vacation. I'm gonna tell y'all something. These sound people, y'all are gonna get cussed out first thing in the morning. There's gonna be a meeting at nine o'clock first thing in the morning, okay? Y'all gonna get it. Y'all gonna get it. So anyways, um, baby, listen. And then they had Jackie. I think Jackie just took an opportunity. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> I think Jackie took an opportunity. Jackie took an opportunity to go on step. <laughs> to step on out here and to try to get her shine on for 15 minutes. Let me tell you something. Listen. Jack was like, he's my living in I was like, what? No, Jackie, no, you 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 gotta stay singing in the background. You gotta stay back there. You can't come out here in the front. That is for Jackie. No, not Jackie. That is for Karen, Twinkie, and Dorinda's. Not Jackie. You supposed to be in a seat in a cha la 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 la. <laughs> you are supposed to be interceding in the background, not the front, the background. Baby, you come out here with this, this low register baritone. He's my living in vain. He's my praying in vain. I was like, oh God. I was like, why did y'all do this? And then he go, you know, Dorinda up there, she just talking for everybody and trying to, you know, give words of encouragement. And I was like, she said, you know, Jackie, you know, I mean, Karen, you know, she's not saying anything right now. I'm like, is everybody supposed to be tore up today? What is, what is, tore, why is everybody tore up? Sam, why is everybody tore up? Why is everybody tore up? I'm like, baby, y'all know y'all was on program. Y'all can't pull a Mr. Brown today. You can't sit up here and act like you didn't know you was on the program when you know you was on the program three, four, five days ago because we've been telling y'all that y'all was going to be coming to the film. Okay? <laughs> Miko said we all going to hell. Listen. Nope. I have not forgotten. So I'm like this right here. Wait, my computer's freezing. I'm like this right here. Y'all knew y'all was gonna be on this program. Y'all knew y'all was gonna be on this program. Y'all should have been at rehearsals. I don't know who the sound check man was. Mm -mm. I don't know who the sound check man was, but my problem is this. I'm gonna need you to have been at the rehearsal right along with the, with the Clarks with Faith Hill, uh, with 
with Taco Bell sauce. Uh, the Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan, I'm gonna need you to put that liquor down for that particular day. Cause you sound a whole hot hell of a mess, okay? Uh, Ch Bishop Ellis. Oh, sir, this, this for you. Wait, this the wrong way. <laughs> this was you all night long. Just shade, man. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. Jesse Jackson, wait, I gotta go in line. Cause first of all, I really, I'm gonna have to work on Jesse. Cause that right there, I was so done with Jess Jackson. I was so done. Hold on. Well, are we done with the Clarks? Okay. They should have took y'all to church. The Clarks should have took y'all to church. I don't know why. Why Dorinda and Karen didn't, didn't church that thing up. Baby, I was expecting Dorinda to go evangelistical. Okay. I was expecting her to go church and, and scream and say, Y'all don't worry about Aretha. Because just like little Sally Walker sitting in her sauce. But I was expecting her to give me one, but she didn't give me one. They just sang a little song and got her off stage. I'm like, is y'all really that toe up? Y'all done sat in this service for four hours already. And I'm serious. Like, seriously, the service started at nine. Am I coming to that party? I'm almost to that party. Service started at nine. Y'all don't get up to around by 12. I'm just like, wait. Oh, yeah, we got to talk about Sissy Tyson, too. Sissy. Because mm. she was beautiful. Okay. Um, Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka, Shaka. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Baby, let me tell you something. Let me make sure I get this right. The next time I see somebody come out on stage with a fan like this, I already know you got words on it. I'm going to already know you got words sitting on your fan like this, okay? I'm just, I'm going to let you know that right now, baby. Because she was out there. What was that song she was singing? She sang, um, oh, my God. <laughs> First of all, Shaka Khan was high as Cooter Brown, okay? She was high. She was higher than a giraffe's Gucci. Do you hear me? I was so embarrassed because Shaka Khan got out there and she just, Wait a minute, what was the song that she was singing? Mm. <laughs> what was the song she was saying? I don't know. That's how bad it was. <laughs> so my, Sam said her hair was in a socket. Hold on. What was the song she was singing? Okay, y'all y'all act a little slow tonight. Anyways, she got out there singing the song and going up yonder. That's what it was. Thank you, Sam. Baby, she was saying, going up yonder, reading the words. First of all, I'm going to need you to speak the words. Speak the words. And this right here, let me know you didn't know the words because I saw the piece of paper. Every time you hear it down. Why? Y'all could have got Tremaine Hawkins to do it. I mean, I'm quite sure they could have came on in there. Oh, hold on. She down there just waving is going. She didn't know the word. Listen, she didn't know the words until going up yonder. That's it. She didn't know the words to going up yonder. And when she got to going up yonder, baby, it's like the, the crack or the, 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 the liquor or the brown or the white, whichever one. <laughs> whichever one she was sipping on that day, baby, that stuff just started, it just started warming up. It started warming up. She said, Go in Go in To be with the Lord. Ha, ha, ha. Up. I was like, you know what? I said, wait a minute. First of all, she hides a kite. Baby, she just, she's standing on a wing and a prayer. Do you hear me? A wing. And a prayer, because she was up there wobbling. I don't know if y'all really paid attention to it. She was up there wobbling. She was like, wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble. <laughs> Get with me. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby. And I was like, wait, why your hair look like that? Shaka, why your hair look like that, baby? You've been, you've been electrocuted. What is going on? Shaka, is you okay, girl? I know you. this fan is for two purposes, to... To keep you cool and for you to read the words. I just, I'm trying to understand what's going on. Okay, okay. All right. 
Well, all right, I think we covered all that. And then on top of that, she want to come back and preach. The girls in the choir. Okay. So anyway, these shot they was back there. Kirk Carr was just back there just playing. And and they were still trying to, you know, keep it going and everything. And then on top of that, she came back out trying to preach. I'm going. <laughs> I'm beyond that. <laughs> going. I'm going. Now. I was like, no, no, ma'am. Shaka, go back there and throw that beer up. Please go throw it up. Please. I can't take you no more tonight. Please. Baby, I'm going to need you to purge. I'm going to need you to be back there purging and frothing that stuff up. Because right now, you is... No, no, ma'am. All right, we done with Shaka Khan. We got the clock sisters and everything out the way. All right, Shaka. Charles Ellis. Lord Bishop Ellis. Lord Bishop. Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. This, this goes out to you. I don't know why you were so shady tonight. Baby, it was... Ooh, it's just so much light. So much light. So much shade, Bishop. Just so much shade. What in the world? I was like, wait. I said, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Why is he so shady tonight? Why is Bishop Ellis so shady tonight? First of all, you didn't call Ariana Grande a taco sauce. A taco, a uh, taco you, matter of fact, you called her number five. That's what it was. You called her number five. You talk, you you thought you talking about some. I thought she was a a, 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 a something on the menu. Really, really. Why? First of all, like you know that's wrong. Now you now you got folks out here making blogs about you because you was out here holding the girl too tight. Called her some taco at the podium. At the podium. Did you want to put your beef in her taco? Did you want to put your beef on the taco, Bishop? I'm just saying. Th you know, because, you know, let me tell you something. Preachers got a slick way of saying stuff to you. Mmm. Calling her a taco. Mmm. So you want to put your beef on her taco? <laughs> and, and put some extra sauce and cheese on there. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I know Chrisette was only looking like. Now, why is you holding that little girl like that? Because, baby, you was gripping her a little tight. Yes, she was. You was gripping her a little tight. While you was out there putting all the shade on the peoples. Uh, anyways, y'all. Anyways, let me go on and get through. Um, okay, yep. Got that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going through my little notes, y'all. Hold on. Miko is just showing so much love on here because <laughs> she just loved the service. I loved the service too, but it was a hot, wretched mess. That's what it was. Jesse Jackson, Jesse Jackson. Now, me and, me and Jesse Jackson family go way back, okay? Me and Jesse, my family and Jesse Jackson go way back. You know, we all from Memphis and, and around there with Martin Luther the King and Karen on and stuff like that. So anyways... <clears throat> I just got a few words for Jesse, and that is, sir, I'm have needed you to set your ass all the way down, okay? Just set it down, okay? Baby, you was walking all day, all night long. I think you was confused about where you was at, because at one moment you was in the pulpit, the next moment you just walked in the middle of the service, down there shaking hands and hugging folks and giving folks kisses and things like that. Sir, somebody need to have gave you some pills. You didn't take your pills today, did you? You didn't take your pills. I, I know you didn't. You didn't take your pills. Mm-hmm. Uh, babe, you look like you was, you look like you was walking dead. Uh, you look like walking dead. Miko. The pants was wet. Listen, Jesse Jackson and got up, walked off the stage, and he had to go get Jesse. He then came back, sat down. He probably was playing with his little self up there on the stage. Cause his hand was between his legs too many times. And then he I was just like, wait, okay, wait. Okay, y'all said he got Parkinson's disease or whatever. Listen here. If he got Parkinson's disease, y'all should have had him on the front row with a seat belt on and a helmet. Because <laughs> because 
First of all, that is that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing because that don't make no sense. How you gonna have this man? Oh, that. Oh my God! Wait a minute. Then this man gets up there, and instead of him giving words, he has prayer. I wait a minute. First of all, Shirley Caesar looked like. Is this nigga really prayer? Is he really prayer? I was like, first of all, I'm looking, and Cherja on the front wall was looking, and we all looking like, is this nigga really praying right now? I was like, wait. Kind father, we think. I was like, no, ain't no kind father, nothing right now. You don't need to be praying for nothing. You need to get up here and speak and sit down. I was like, wait. I was like, no, Jesse. So, anyways, he was up there looking sick. He needed help. Um, listen, Robert, listen, let me tell you something. Shirley Caesar's face was priceless. She was just looking like... Why are you praying right now? We was, I think us that was on the outside and folks that was in the church was all looking like WTF is going on here. Like, and then he just got to rambling on and we were just looking like. And let me tell you something. Because we're coming down to Tyler Perry too. Uh, all right. Jesse Jackson looks sick and he like he's going to be the next thing getting up out of here. All right, so let me tell you something. This service was so long. This service was so long. I had some of Aretha's assistants call me this morning and text me, and they said that they were on their way to the church at 5 o'clock this morning. I said, I'm still in my bed right now. I'm still in my bed. Why is you going to the church this early? The service don't start tonight. They said, we got to get there and pray. We got to get there and, and make sure the sound is right. We, I was like, wait, okay, get the sound is right. Um, you got to make sure the equipment's right. The musicians got to come and set up. Okay, got it. I was not expecting the service to be over at 745. Mm -hmm. And then that not to mention that they still... They, they but right before I got on, they were still in the processional line, which means that they didn't even get to the repast yet. Okay, they didn't even got the repast food, so it is nine fifty nine right now. They ain't even got repast food. But we gonna stop by Popeyes. We gonna stop by Popeyes. We gonna stop by Popeyes. We gonna stop by Popeyes, Popeyes tonight, cause that right there. No. So, anyways. These people were there at the service at 5 o'clock, which means that from 5 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you have been at this church, Great Grace Apostolic Church, you have been there for 12 hours. Okay? 12 hours. 12 hours. And for those of you who got to the church maybe around by 8, 9 o'clock, y'all know the service started at 9, from 9 o'clock which means the service didn't end to around by 745. You have been there almost over an entire work day. Who does that? Who does that? That is ridiculous. Like what? Okay. Okay, so. And then not to mention that people was falling asleep in the church. I mean, I saw one lady, baby, they panned the camera around. She had her mouth cocked open. <laughs> I said, no, Lord. I said, no, Lord. No. Baby, I'm talking about Reverend Smith who had them shades on and the camera zoomed in on him. You can see that his eyes was closed. Uh, Bill Clinton was up there asleep. Wow. He was up there slobbing. Uh, the folks back there in the choir and the, and the lady who was playing a little fiddler back there, she was back there asleep, had her head knocked and cocked down like this right here and just rocking and carrying on. I was like, wait a minute, everybody's asleep. Okay, got that part right there. What's that right? Mm-hmm. All right.
Uh, Doug and Vanessa Williams. I'm sorry, Vanessa Armstrong. Doug and Vanessa Armstrong. Doug and Vanessa Armstrong. Doug Williams and Vanessa Armstrong. Now, ironically, the praise break came after just one of the worst segments in this film. Okay, now I just don't understand how they decided to bring a praise break at this particular part of the service. Mm -hmm. mm. Vanessa was already confused with this wig. The wig was too big. The wig was too big. And it looks like Vanessa's getting small too. So, I mean, I guess everybody come around here with the cans. I just... Cause that's not, that's not funny. I just did not be laughing at that. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's not funny. That is not funny. But Vanessa didn't know the words. She was just as confused, but she was up there screaming. She up there looking like Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse with this big old wig on his blonde and up there just screaming. Okay. Um, I just, I just, I'm, 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 I'm just so over this. I'm just, I can't even, I'm trying to get through this list, but y'all having Mike Talks, Mike Talks, <laughs> um, huh, her song, song, the song. What song, song? When? Oh, yeah. See how you? Oh, yeah. Baby, her song got up there and sung that song. I was like, how your mama gonna be a legend and you up here coming behind her sounding like this? You, sir, in the words of Donald Trump, you are fired. Hmm? Sir, you're fired. You're fired. You're, you're fired. Okay. Uh, so let me not meant to forget to mention that y'all done set up here and, and decided to put a praise break after the wrong section of songs and songstress and minstrels and things like that. Y'all. <laughs> y'all could have came. Oh. <laughs> y'all could have put that praise break after Al Sharpner. Y'all could have put that praise break. Y'all could have put another praise break after uh 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 after Tyler Paris. Cause Tyler Perry got up there with Medea. Oh hell yeah, shit, he next anyways. He Tyler Perry got him up there and wanted to preach and things, and I was just like and then he wanted to sit up there and talk about um uh, Aretha like Medea. Baby, listen, we don't want we don't want to see Medea right now. We saw Medea, we saw Medea at Lakewood. We don't want to see Medea at the film, okay? Let Medea stay over there, okay? Okay, so so I guess he just, you know, he want to preach and preach because they said he going to start a church. Well, I told y'all that a couple months ago. You know, so how Tyler Perry going to be out here preaching? Sir, I thought you was making movies and doing plays. So which one you going to do? You know what? I got it. I got it. You want to be... Uh, have multiple streams of income. Ah! So you want to take the people's money from the plays and the movies and you want to preach also and collect funds that way. Gotcha. That is very smart. But you know what? Since you are already a billionaire, why don't you just preach for free? That, that, that might be a plan right there. Just preach for free. And y'all talking about some Jennifer Hudson kids. Right, because Medea might show up. <laughs> Listen, y'all said Jennifer Hudson killed it. She coming up next. She coming up next. <laughs> she, come, she coming up next. She coming up next. Um, Al Sharpner. Al Sharpner killed it. I like Al Sharpner. He got up there and said something. He got up there with a clap back too because he said, y'all was trying to comfort me when I had spelled respect wrong. R-E-S-P-I-C-T. He said, I know. He said, but y'all need to, first of all, don't try to clap back and then throw it off on somebody else. 
Don't throw it off on nobody else because you was wrong. You misspelled the word wrong. You spelled R-E-S-P-I-C-T, okay? It was E-C-T, okay? So, um, she said, okay. I don't even know who y'all talk to, but okay. Anywho, uh, and who was the other one? So we got them done. Michael Eric Dyson. Baby, I don't know why you were so mad on tonight. I don't even know. And then you came up here coming back at Obama. I was like, wait. Why is you coming back at Obama? You know Obama don't be showing up to everybody's stuff. Like, come on now. And I mean, I think he should have showed up to Noretha's funeral. I think he should have. As much as Noretha had did, I think he should have showed up to the funeral. Okay? I think that, at, that, that Obama should have showed up to the funeral. But Michael D Eric Dyson... Because that, that might be my cousin. Because, you know, I got Dyson's in my family, too, from over there in Arkansas and Terrell and Karen on. But why was you so mad, though? And then you up there, oh, oh, oh. I was like, no, no. No, sir. No, sir. Anywho. Anywho. Whatever. Thank you, Doug. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, uh, Jennifer Holiday. Huh? Oh yeah. Um uh let me go on to Jennifer Holiday and Jennifer Hudson. And speaking of that, because these two were sitting right beside each other. So uh Tyler Perry and um Gladys Knight, Chickens and Waffles, they were sitting right beside each other. And um I did not realize, but Gladys Knight said today she announced that she has pancreatic cancer. She said her and Aretha are are dealing with the same disease. But, 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 she said she ain't got cancer. I'm confused. So either you got pancreatic cancer or you don't. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Because I can't pretend. I just want to know what you got. You said you got pancreatic cancer, and then somebody will come right behind you and say you ain't got cancer. So which one is going to be? Anyways, y'all, let's keep her lifted up in prayer. You know, baby, I'm going to tell y'all something, baby. The, 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 the legends, the legends. The icons are leaving here. Ain't nobody picking up the mantles. And this ain't the time for me to preach right now because I ain't going to preach. All right? All right. Uh, Jennifer Holiday, Jennifer Hudson. <clears throat> I love Jennifer Hudson. But she got up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, are you humming the words because you forgot the song? Are you humming the words because you're trying to figure out which which part to come in on? Yeah, I think that was a musician on that. That was a musician? The musician didn't key her in at all. Okay. So, I think Jennifer Hudson was having one of the moments. So, um, Jennifer Hudson, you know, my, even with all of this tonight, I think I, I really want to blame the sound system because a lot of these individuals sound really good. They sound really good. Ron Isley. Oh, Father God. Father God. What was he doing, y'all? What was Ron Isley doing? He up there trying to cry and trying to sing. What? Listen, I need y'all to perform. I need y'all not to be up here so tore up. Perform the song because now that's one right there. Ron Isley can normally sing. But I can't blame the mic on that because, sir, you was waving the mic around and everything like this. And I was like, somebody please get him. Ron Isley is old too, so please go get him and sit him down somewhere. Anyways, Jennifer Holiday. This might be a shady moment right now too. <laughs> Jesus. Jennifer Holiday. Jennifer Holiday. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know why. I don't know why you was up there. Baby, I heard your vocal cords cracking. You was screaming so hard. You was up there singing like you did lost your natural burn mind. I was like, you know what? All I could do is look. Because I, I was upset. I was upset about that. So, anyways, 
Um, I guess she sent Aretha out. But you know what? In all of this, because I got to come down to Jasper Williams. Because Jas Stevie Wonder and Jasper Williams, let me tell you something. Uh, this sound was very horrible tonight. Today, tonight, whichever one. Smoke it, snake bones, whichever. He did, he was horrible too. I'm just, listen, I can't get over the fact that tonight's service was beautifully horrible. How about that? That's what it was. It was it was beautifully horrible. Yeah, that's what it was. It was beautifully horrible. And I just, I don't know what to tell y'all, but I was, ex I had high hopes. I had high hopes. I, I had, I had high hopes. I had high hopes for the service because I was just sure. I was just sure we was going to have us a good one, two, one, two, one, two. Just like Charles Ellis was talking about the senator woman going to try to get her over into the Pentecostal church. Sit your shady behind down somewhere. Anyways, um, Stevie Wonder spoke well tonight. And I'm saying he did. Jennifer, I mean, Stevie Wonder <laughs> spoke very well tonight. He even did a clap back to Jasper Williams, which blessed my entire life. Jasper Williams was talking about black lives don't matter and all kind of foolishness like that. Mm. Um, and then he sung my favorite song. What did he sing, y'all? What did he sing? I forgot. But I know it was my favorite song because I was listening to it and I was rocking. And I was so disturbed because Shirley Murdoch, Jennifer Lewis, Dottie Peoples with her, her dentures in her mouth, and, and um, Angie Stone was up there singing behind him. And I was like, this is going to hell in the handbasket. Real quick, let Stevie Wonder sing the song. Mm -hmm. and, and oh yeah, that was the mic toss right there. First of all, Tasha Cobbs and, and Shirley Caesar, y'all can't have people like this singing duets. No, no, you can't do that. You can't do duets with, with people that got big voices like this. Bishop Paul Morton and Yolanda Adams, You can't do that. You can't do Tasha Cobbs. You can't do Tasha Cobbs and Shirley C. This is like a cat fight. Somebody gonna try to sing, I'll sing somebody else and be too loud and get too loud over here, too loud. It's gonna sound a whole hot mess. That's all I'm saying. Um, you know, it wasn't Ricky. Listen, it it was not Kurt Carr, and it definitely wasn't Ricky Dillon, because Ricky Dillon would have had that stuff. Listen, Mother would have had that choir all the way together. Now, Mother was not in place. Mother directed for one or two songs, and that was it. But listen, y'all talking about some Yolanda Adams and Bishop Morton did good. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm, I don't know about that. Um, now let's get on to this preaching. Let's get on to this preaching. Jesus. Now, I normally like Jasper Williams. Where? Huh? <laughs> I normally like Jasper Williams. I like his his methodology of preaching. And I, I was following his style because I knew at some point he was going to come to a climax. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> I knew he was going to come to a climax and bring it on down. Okay? You know? But the sermon was sad. The delivery was sad. It was confusion. It was confusement. And I was just like... Oh, you said versus the rest of them? Well, Nick versus the rest of them? Yeah, Bishop Borden... And uh, 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 Yolanda did real good. I'll give you that one. Um, this man was up preaching. He was too long. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. First of all, Jasper Williams' sermon was all over the place. You're talking about a house is not a house and a home is not a home. I am thinking you about to start bringing out some big Luther lyrics. You know what I'm trying to tell you? I'm, I'm thinking about the... I'm thinking you about to come on out with it. 
But you you know, you just went from there and then you start talking about the gays, respect the straights and and the and, and somebody else, the women need to respect the men. I'm like, so you just at this point your mind is all over the place and you just starting to throw in and everything in there, right? Okay. All righty. And then you start talking about how the women ain't worth it and, and the women need to respect the men and, and the men need to be in the household because the women ain't good enough for nothing but to be cooking and to be nurturers and things like that. I was like, wait a minute. I said, this is supposed to be a home-going service. I was like, wait a minute. This is a home-going service. You are not preaching a home-going service. Sir, sir, take that hopscotch message on over there somewhere else because today you have lost me. <clears throat> You have lost me. And I, I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, okay. At this point, I'm, I'm quite sure that they have probably spent about $5 million on this funeral. Maybe that was a little, little shade right down that one. I'm quite sure that Noretha had probably spent $5 million on this funeral. All right. Uh, yeah, I think he got all the timers too. Um, because they have been in that church for about 20 hours. I'm just hypothetically speaking. They have been in this church about 20 hours. So you have to look at the fact that they have to pay these musicians. Now, LJ said that um, some of these musicians probably just was happy to play for Aretha's funeral. But um, I'm quite sure that they was probably paid at the same time. Supervisor Cicely Tyson did a marvelous job, too. She got that all the times, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> but between paying the musicians, and not to mention you're going to have to pay for using the church, you're you, you going to have to pay for using the church, babies. Hold on. Let me plug up my iPad. Hold on. you going to have to pay for using the church. And so at the same time, you didn't probably had to give uh, 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 Chucky, what, about $100,000, $500,000 for using the service. And then not to mention you got to pay the city for having all these police cars out there. And then you got to pay for having all these riding on the Cadillac. You got to pay for having all these Cadillacs out there. And then you got all these hearses and things and, and limousines and cars and stuff like that. You got to pay for all of that. So, again, somebody said the church was free. Who said who? Who said the church was free? Because somebody had to pay when Rosa Parks was there too. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to pay for these lights, water, electricity. All these niggas want to go in the bathroom and stank up the bathroom. All these, what? Somebody got to pay for something. The electricity is braining. Come on now, don't, 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 don't play with it. Anyways, y'all. I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, I know for me, I know for me, I went to sleep twice. I went to sleep twice, and then not only did I went to sleep twice, I went outside, and <laughs> somebody said Jesse Jackson had restroom breaks. Um... I went to the bathroom, I took a shower, I um, I ate, warmed up some food, and they were still on. I said, well, dang, this is the longest service I've ever been in. I said, this don't make no sense. This don't make no sense. Why is this funeral that long? Everybody, first of all, everybody that got up was up like 15, 20 minutes. Why? 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 Y'all talking about some Bishop Jakes, baby. Let me tell you something. First of all, I I was pretty pleased with with uh PA Brooks. See, I, let me tell you something. The Kojic folks showed up and showed out tonight. Today, tonight, whichever one it was. They showed out. Now they got up, did a little bit, and sat down somewhere. I was proud. 
Did my thing just die? Oh, father. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Hold on, y'all. Let me plug this up. I was all the way done. I was, I was, I was all the way done. I was like, you know what? TDJ's got up and was up 20 minutes. Was up 20 minutes before he even read a scripture. I said, wait a minute. This is not the time for you to do that. Oh, I was, I was, I was already pissed off at the beginning of the service. Listen, Lamar, you said I cooked, I ate, went to sleep, woke up, and I'm <laughs> I was like, wait, I know you're T.D. Jakes. We all love you, whatever. Everybody get up there with these long repass speeches. I was like, this is not right. I was, this is not right. So anyways, y'all, um... I, I, you know, I said they put her away properly. They did put her away properly. They did. They put her away like a bishop, like a national supervisor. They put her away just as if we was going to bury uh, Mother Rivers. Um, anyways, not to say Mother Rivers is going to die or anything like that, but I'm just saying. She old, too. Uh, she 300. <laughs> Cicely Tyson was there. She was 300 years old, but, baby, she looked good. She looked good, baby. Sister Tyson. Sister Tyson looked good. Okay, she looked good. P.A. Brooks did exactly what he was supposed to do. He got up, read the scripture. I would have, I would have really appreciated if he just got the people going. You know, got the people going. Praise the Lord, everybody. Clap your hands. Come on, let's just give God a good hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God a good praise. Come on, hallelujah. I mean, stir the people up, you know, stir them up, you know. Stir them up, must up a little something. Because, baby, it needed, it needed some Jesus oil, hallelujah, grease, and everything else. I was just, I was too done. Anyways, y'all, I love y'all. I'm done. Oh, Roman, you so wrong. Mother Rivers did not leave here two years ago. Um, Listen, Lamar, I was mad. They kept, uh, I can't, I was about to say it. I was I was mad they kept messing with the, the, the Clark sisters mics too. I was so upset about that. I was like He is. I was really mad about that. But anyways. Somebody said Jer Jerome said Whoopi should have said something. Um yeah. I you know I'm yeah, y'all, I'm I'm good. I'm good and done. Y'all leave your little comments down there and tell me what you think about it and stuff like that. You know, me personally, I'm just giving commentary. I'm just giving commentary, good people. I just think that um, John McCain's mom is 106. Well, she woke. Well, okay. Oh, let me tell y'all who I saw in the audience, baby. I saw Valerie Daniels. Now, listen. When I saw Val, I said, wait. I said, wait a minute, is Val there? I saw Val. I said, baby. I said, you know you somebody when you get you get an invite to the film. Valerie Daniels is something. Not only is she a, almost a big in there, baby, she got an invite to the film. Okay. Um, Fantasia. I let me just, oh yeah, I did see Amorosa. And y'all was really cutting up on Omarosa tonight. Y'all said, why is Omarosa there? She got an invite, y'all. She looked like she was going to the royal wedding, which this was a very ashy poshy type of service. You know, it was really nice. But I think Omarosa, you know, y'all give her a pass. Just today. Just today. Give her a pass today. I didn't see Queen Latifah. I don't know why Patty Patty was not there, but that was shade within itself. B Slade wasn't there. All of that stuff just didn't make no sense. Anyways, y'all. Anyways, um, I think we are at the end of our roll call. 
we're at the end of our roll call, okay? Um, you know what, Lakeisha, she was not baking no daggone. <laughs> oh, you said Patty was out the country. Patty deliberately planned to be out the country. You hear me trying to Cause she was just in LA. Wasn't Patty just in LA? Patty was just in LA singing at a tribute concert. That was my friend. Girl, you know Patty what your friend. Girl, y'all had so much beef. It was ridiculous. Um Anyways, y'all, I love y'all. I really do. Um Yeah, love y'all. All right, God bless you, children. God bless you. Love you, and y'all have a good night. We'll talk to you later. Showtime. King's back.